Today we'll show you my favorite virtual drum machine. And no, it's no XO. I use XO mostly because it's a time saver for file management, but as a drum machine, I rarely use it. Now, today we'll talk about Drum Computer by Sugarbytes. This plugin is so fun to use that I just want to start playing with it. So, without further ado, let's go! If you like this video, give it a like and also subscribe to the channel, that means a lot to me. Also, if you want to help me continue making videos and also you want to get early access to them and free presets, consider becoming a patron, all the links are in the description. Thank you in advance. So, this is Drum Computer. It seems a little bit intimidating at first, but it's not that hard to use. It basically, and oversimplified, is a drum machine with eight different sounds that you can design by yourself. There are a lot of knobs and a lot of different features, so let's go step by step. Each of the eight sounds is a different color, and despite it having, like for example here, a kick icon, a snare icon, hi-hat, and so on, you can see that all the screens look the same despite changing the color. That's because every sound has the same three engines. So you can literally make just eight kicks and there's nothing wrong with that. Because this icon right here is not an icon that tells you what it's supposed to be here. This icon is going to randomize a sound. And to keep it organized, here is going to randomize a kick, here is going to randomize a snare and so on. As I said, all of the sounds have three different engines that can be used at the same time, and each engine has its own level knob, so you can mix them whatever way you want. One is a resonator, the other one is an oscillator, and the last one is resynthesis or a sampler. That's right, you can use this just as a sampler by lowering everything here and choosing samples that comes with drum computer, or you can choose your own sample folders. But obviously the fun part is to mix all of this. So let's go to the initial patch. Initially it sounds like this, which is a really lame kick. <laughs> but let's start changing things so I can explain what does each engine do. And believe me, the possibilities are endless. First of all, we have the resonator, which is a decaying tone. In all the engines you can change the pitch, but here you can also add some partials, change the tone, or put a filter. You also have pitch modulation by different parameters, and a decay knob for further shaping. You can use it as a tone for something like an 808. Or you can change the partials and the tone and start getting a really weird sound. This is more cardboardy, and if we change the pitch, we can use it just for the transient. The oscillator you can choose from a wavetable or to analog, which are the basic shapes, from a sine wave to a pulse, or these weird shapes, and you have a lot of different ones. The idea of this wavetable part is the same as the resonator, you can use it for a low tone, or for a high, more weird kind of tone to shape the transients, or even some resonances like you will find on something like a snare. Here you can also add FM and ring modulation, and now we are getting a more metallic or even glassy kind of sound. And finally you have the sampler or the resynthesis. Here you can also choose a sample and start changing the color. And of course you can change the pitch or the pitch modulation and the decay. And with the sampler you can choose a sampler, so let's start with this kick right here and let's add the other engines. And that's the basic idea with the engines. Of course, as I said, you can do whatever sound you want here, but it's also good to keep it organized, at least for me, as using this for kicks, this for snares, and whatnot. You can also modulate some stuff, for example, the cutoff point, the global pitch. Here you have a modulation generator. This is an LFO that you can change the wave of 
the wavetable or the FM amount and also you can have these other parameters here for further modifications. You can use some distortion, some compression, you can use a filter for the whole sound and you can EQ high and low frequencies. And if you are bored, as I said at the beginning, you can use this button to randomize. With the other sounds, it's the same, but the idea is that you start changing them so you can have your own drum machine. So now you see why I love this so much. Now, with this I tend to do more noisy and experimental kind of sounds, but you can do whatever you want. It's not for everyone, of course, because for some it can be a little bit intimidating, but for me it's so fun to use that I can get lost on it for hours and hours. Of course, this has a really nice mixer with panning, fader controls for the gain. And not only that, you have two sands for a room and a whole reverb that can also add a lot to the sound. The distortion has, well, hard clipping and beat crushing. And also you have some global distortion right here with three types and global compression. And also in this screen, you can, well, modify a little bit of the sound, but to tell you the truth, I've never used this screen, but it's better to perform. Now, I don't love this plugin only because you can make really weird sounds for a drum machine. This also has a really powerful sequencer. It has up to 16 different patterns you can chain in different ways. I mean, look at this. And each pattern lasts for 16 steps. So 16 times 16 is the number of steps that this really has. The best part is that you can drag the MIDI into your project. So if you would prefer to edit the MIDI on your DAW, just choose the amount of files you want and then put it in your project. Now, all of that is really nice, but the true power of the sequencer comes right here where you can edit the pattern. Not only you can change the velocity, that will of course change the volume, you can change the probability that a sound will happen, you can add rolls, offsets, you can change the decay of the sound, the pitch, and you can add the modulation. And if you're bored, you can just program them randomly, and not only that, you can also change them in these ways. And that doesn't stop there. To demonstrate, let me do a really simple pattern. As you can see, you have all of these other controls. These are per track and these are global. Each track can have a different time signature. If we change this, Not only that, you can change the direction, it can go back and forth. You can offset everything, you can delete everything, and you can even create a random sequence. It seems that people are at sugar bites, love randomness, and personally, I also love randomness, and all the random things that are in this plugin are really well programmed. So if you really, really, really feel uninspired and you want a beat for your song, this is the plugin for you. You can also create a whole random pattern that means that the eight different sounds are going to have a different pattern. You can add some swing and you can visualize it.
and you can use this human eyes that will offset a little bit of some hits each time a pattern repeats. And that doesn't stop there. You can change the length of the sequence by using this. So for example, you can make that the snare length is 13 steps and not 16. And that means that we have polymeter action right here. Let me go back to something simple to demonstrate. And if you're clever with polymeter, you can even have polyrhythms. Let me delete almost everything. And let's use only the first step, but change the length of each one. So now we will have a nine against seven against five polyrhythmic sequence. And yes, you can chain different patterns and each pattern will have different durations on the sequences. And of course there is so much more to it, but I don't want to waste too much of your time. I just want to make a good overview on everything that this has to offer and show you why I love it so much. Finally, it has this remix slider right here that will add some breaks and you can use it automatically with these two buttons right here. In summary, the things that I love about this plugin is how powerful it is on everything it does. Now, of course, it's not as quick to use as, for example, a simple sample based plugin like XO, but for me, a synthesizer and sound design nerd, I love that you can change every sound on different levels with three different engines for each one of the sounds. It also has these multiple audio outputs, so you can further manipulate the sound on your DAW. I love this plugin, I love what Sugarbytes is doing, and if you want to learn more about other plugins from this company, I have a review of Raindat right here. So tell me in the comments what do you think about this plugin, I personally find it so fun to use, so the invitation is that you try it yourself. And that's it for today, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel and also give the video a like, I will appreciate that a lot, and if you want, subscribe to my Patreon so you can help me continue making videos. I will see you next time, bye bye.